guys, and welcome to this week's 20 Minutes interview. Um, I'm super excited because today we have Ronald from Sweden. Um, and I actually don't know anything about you, Ronald. So tell me, who are you and welcome? <laughs> uh, I'm a guy working with a, a computer at the Swedish police. Oh, so nice. Much technical. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Let's bring some of that on the on the line. <laughs> yeah, but uh, uh, that's a life that too. Uh, yeah. yeah, for sure. Uh, I have some questions about free energy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, from the beginning, uh, in what timelines have the human beings have had free energy on the earth? Uh, let's look into it. Basically, free energy has always existed. It's just a matter of if we have been able to enter the field or not, and if it has been beneficial for the, the learning and the understanding of life and death within this matrix we play in. Um, but free energy has been a part of planet Earth since the day of creation. Okay. We have been tapped into re- re-remembering it uh, a few times during the last 500 years and we had a few guys who were very close to discover it some of my favorite is obviously Nikolai Tesla and yeah. and Victor his friend um, and they every time we talk free energy he's always here he's like oh take me in take me in I want to join <laughs> I was like yes you're welcome. <laughs> yeah. You talked about Tesla, so we have to start with him. Um, mm -hmm. Was he too early with the free energy, or what happened? Or he was, oh, as I understand, what? he was stopped. He stopped. Yeah. yeah so um, one thing is that the government stopped him. <laughs> yeah. The other thing is that um, if I look into okay, Tesla. He had a really busy mind. He had many things going on at once. Sometimes the mind run a lot faster than his emotion and human body could follow. He, he got so much knowledge downloaded at such a short time that for him to comprehend everything was quite a, was quite a challenge. If I look into the formula that he wrote to describe the free energy that he sees and has access to, there was this one little point he kept getting wrong and he couldn't understand why he kept getting it wrong. So it became like kind of a thing in his head. He's been dealing with that for a while. Um, if I ask him or if he just allow him to talk, he says that he got the formula for it, but to bring it into human understanding and to a place where humanity was ready for it, they were not. So he had to stop the process in releasing it because humanity was not fully ready for it. And yet um, it was his passion. It was his life work. It was this one thing he knew um, was possible. Yeah, that's what he says. Okay. Um, uh, I have read some books about uh, Victor Schauberg. Yeah? He was a mm -hmm. forest from Austria. Yeah. Uh, he... Uh, uh, we use today expl explosion technology uh, in, a, in a car and so on, but he used something called implosion energy. Mm -hmm. uh, can you explain that? Was that some form, form of energy, uh, free energy, or what's that? He... Okay, Victor. Victor was very much into technology and the science behind it. He had this thing where he wanted to create like, like a water flow of, of compressing and extracting. Yeah. Um, and within that, he wanted to create free energy. Um, this was one of the things that he was working a lot on and they wanted to use it during the Second World War. And yet they have used some of his things, a lot of his things, but some of his projects he didn't get through with this was one of the ones that he wants me to focus on when he want to speak he want to speak about this uh, water project the thing where he extracts and, and compress and then it makes like this circulation kind of thing 
and it starts over again. So within the water and the stream of the water and, and, and the gap of uh, pressure, it should be able to create this free energy flow um, that could help the planet a lot during the times that we're entering now. Uh, this guy is so mental oh my god not you I mean like uh, the Victor <laughs> <laughs> it's like my head won't explode when I'm inside of them or the air inside of me or however you say that it's like <laughs> okay go uh, uh, Anne talks about the forex places uh, holy places uh, yes. then there are on them well, this kind of places Yeah, I'm about thinking about who did they used did they used for a uh, free energy of a in a stone circle and so on. Um, uh, or who did they used when the whole, the whole when the places? whole what was it was it something about energy free energy or what's the purpose to build up so big big places? So when uh, when Earth was created, the world grid was free energy, right? The pyramids, places, the circulation of energy was free energy. It's what made the whole world harmonized. It's what made everything balanced and created uh, this thing with fruit and plants and everything. So in, in that sense and form, this was the creation of free energy. If I look into to the stone circle, sorry, isolated and stuff like that, it has been used for centuries for a lot of other stuff than free energy. And the understanding of each place individually is, is understood in a different form of transcending energy than if you combine all. If you combine all into one, it is oneness. And within oneness, there is free energy. If you separate them, then they are amplified, the energy and the expressions, but they are not free energy because they're not part of the whole. Thank you. Uh, Atlantis. Yay! <clears throat> yes. As I understand, they used a lot of crystals. Uh, mm -hmm. Who did they use their energy? Uh, did we or did they use it to heat, light, transport, and so on? In what in more or a different way did they use the uh, crystal energy? Uh, the very funny thing is that we still do use crystals, right? We use it for lasers and glasses and stuff i don't know what more like uh, mobile phones i don't know something like this we use crystals but uh, in the time of atlantis the level of consciousness were higher around the globe we just had the whole free energy thing going on then there was the separation and the flood and etc but we use crystals to amplify energy and spread consciousness and as portals between world realities at that point inner earth and outer earth was combined into one Uh, well, one had knowledge and awareness about the other, and the whole world was so much more prosperity. I, the whole world was so beautiful <laughs> in so many forms and ways, but the level of growth which was needed uh, needed a shift, unfortunately. And within that, um, we lost a lot of our knowledge about how to use crystals and energetic vortexes and etc., And that's one of the reasons why special crystals are linked to special time places and have special knowledge of which can link to stuff within your physical self, but also within the surroundings that you're in. Crystals hold so much awareness, so much knowledge. I mean, for me, it's easier to talk with crystals than it is to talk with humans, you know, and they just never stop talking. There's like all these stories for ages and ages and you just go like, whoa. You experience all this? Yes, yes, yes. No, okay. But they don't, they can't judge, right? So, so you don't feel the judgment in their existence. You just feel the consciousness. And, and it's like watching a book of pictures without, uh, of emotional impressions, but without the suffering of, um, of the just mentality of it. So, yeah. Thank you. Crystals. Mm. Yes. We love them. <laughs> We love them. Yes. Yes. Uh, um, 
I wonder then the the our uh, generation or the people on the earth are ready for to use uh, free energy. Is it a uh, hundred years or thousand years away? We or, yeah. Yes. Um, are we ready? Well, why are they ready? As a global, are they ready? Ah, does the planet are they ready? Earth says it's available. So ready or not, we are here. If I asked humanity, then I see that the biggest part of humanity is not ready for it because that we have all this control system of which the biggest part of humanity still believe in and therefore we cannot change it because of the law of attraction, etc. But free energy is available on Earth at all times and spaces. So for those who are ready to change that concept and that consciousness, um, they can flow with the free energy on many different dimensions, but for now still need to take part in the 3D reality of which we are playing in. So my answer, unfortunately, is yes and no. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. uh, holy geometry, mm -hmm. uh, uh, nature, uh, it is built up about the holy geometry. Is, can that be used? Uh, yes, holy, holy geometry. geometry the, holy geometry, the whole building of, of the universe is sacred geometry. The power within the geomet ge geometric forms uh, circulates and transcends so much more energy than we understand. It's a very powerful tool. What we need to remember is that in this world, there is also the law of intention. So if you believe it to work, it is amplified. If you are like, nah, doesn't work, you send out an energy, there's not a vibrational image to take it in. So the tricky part of on Earth is we can look at it on a technology level, technical level. <laughs> and understand how the geometric form works, how all the ley lines works, how the crystal grids works, and then we can make everything into this beautiful mathematic place. I know you know what I feel. Uh, if you look into human and uh, humanity and the way that they have to grow within this life and the level that they are at as individually and how the law of attraction works, we are playing a different game and these two games have to be a match. So if we say that everything is available at the planet at this moment, free energy, uh, the deepest part of love, the highest dimension, but also the lowest dimension and the deepest suffering, then you as a human being in the middle, you have the free will to figure out which part you want to enter and which part you want to be a vibrational match to. Plus that, of course, your soul is sent down with a certain a blue imprint that wants you to go through certain learnings that means that you will attract different levels <laughs> and you need to work your way through that as a part of the soul learning that you are entering so when you take everything into the picture of the whole it becomes a little bit complicated <laughs> but uh, if we make it just technical then um yeah everything is built up by energy there's nothing else everything is energy vibrations, movements, swinging up, so vibration, frequencies, that's it. That's all. That's all we are. That's all what is around us. That's all what we send out. That's all what we contain. There is nothing else. And when we truly understand that in our mind, we can start shifting. And if humanity would understand that, whoa, oh, that would be a completely different world reality. But truth is they are not ready for that. And those who are ready to understand it will tune in with each other and then and then because then they are vibrational match to that of course and that level of frequency can enter their field and we can start navigating this level of consciousness and implying it into our world reality. Thank you very much. Uh, yes, you're welcome. It was my all questions. And thank you okay, very much. I thought so. Thank you so much. I really love this question and and uh, Victor is very happy, and uh, I always pronounce his last name wrong. Schauberger? Schauberger. Yes, it's like, 
why do I choose this one to talk for me? You know, like, ah! <laughs> and Tesla is also really happy. So we just want to say thank you so much for your questions. And um, yeah. And for all the viewers, thank you so much for watching. And if you have any questions to me or Ronald or both of us or any comments to the subjects that we've been talking about, just write in the comments below. And if you haven't done it yet, hit the subscribe button or you can write how I should pronounce this correctly. And just, um, yeah. Um, the funny thing is <laughs> when, when conversations like today with Ronald and we do all these things where we are talking with Sester and Victor and etc. I slightly don't fully remember what I said. So I will watch this video myself as well. So have a good week and see you next week. Doodoo! -doo!